your boy within that. But also looking at your boys, um, I, I, I want to talk about getting into it. And I usually don't do this with, uh, and I won't even say getting into it like it was something serious, but a, a disagreement definitely with one of my high school classmates. And I, I'm, I'm just going to show you, show, you, show you this meme that he posted. Um, boom, boom, boom here. And I don't know if you guys can see it there. Can you see that pretty well? Yeah. So it says, fuck Joe Biden and Donald Trump. And then at the bottom, it says, all my homies have the American oligarchy or hate the American oligarchy that makes us choose between two rapey corporate perverts. Okay. So while we often preach about, you know, the ills of the American political system, I need you to look at these words um, in context with the photo that they are, uh, you know, above or, or on top of. So right. there are like what we see, like six young brothers. Um, three of them have their pants literally uh, either below ass or thigh or knees. I mean, this one nigga right here, like, look, right here. He's got a, it's a, a Fuji belt. That's not Gucci, but it's, it's attempt. It's an attempt. That that is Fuji, my dude. Fuji. See, the main G's. Those are not G's, but that stripe in the middle is meant to be that that green and red. Um, but that shit is done. Uh. How do you have a How do you have a belt on your pants and you and you still sag down to your knees? Like you don't know how pants and and belts well, it, work. It, it, obviously, your 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 you so, high school. He's a so, fucking idiot. So so over here, it's like, and I'll just read a bit, but it's like all the ones that was raised right and have the integrity to walk into a crooked room and not stand crooked to fit in agree with me. Some of y'all OGs dropped the ball and you're for real, for real. I blame them, period. All the alpha males got me too and the beta cucks raising omega male, gender neutral sheeple that will gladly accept it. <laughs> like what the fuck is so right? So all I did, all I did was like, all I wanted to know was this this is my like I, I, I wanted to I wanted to scroll past this one. I really wanted to let this one go. But it, it just sat too wrong because like I would have I would have let wouldn't have let it go. These words and this image like just don't make sense to me, right? Like my brain can't let that go. So literally I'm just like I, I, I don't like the choices we have right now either. But what the fuck does this image have to do with anything? I can't align politically with brothers who don't know how to uh, use pants slash, or who don't know how pants slash belts work. Um, so then he, he, he replied eventually with something that was like, basically, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, it, it, it goes back to the argument with the, the other nigga, uh, negative two minus three, uh, where it was like, uh, I, you know, I'm basically a coon who's who's a beta cuck, which I don't even. That's a new term that I don't know. Beta cuck, um, uh, but I don't. You know, I don't. I don't know what's, what's going on. What's this dude's name? What is it's, what, is he on Instagram? What's his name? Yeah, first of all, uh, po, you can see, see it right it. there. No, no, I, I'm good. Polo on Pol Polo. Uh, no, no, I'm going to his page and I'm 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 gonna have I'm gonna say. The fuck but out it, of here! It, Put your pants up. And, and I'm not trying to blow him up for this. You know what I'm saying? I'm blowing in, in him terms up of, in terms of giving him followers or anything. But you know, he's like the people in Portland got it right. I don't know if you can see it in this text. So eventually, I just replied like, you know, here's here's my response to all of that. I was like, first of all, I asked, what does this image have to do with anything you're talking about? Secondly, if there is a vote to defund police, which is something he brought up in his response. Uh, I assume you won't participate, failing to see the logic in that. Besides, defunding the police won't change the amount of crackers on the force. I also do other things in addition to voting because I can walk and chew gum, as they say. Like, you could literally join the protesters in Portland and vote. They're not mutually exclusive, just saying. So all I'm saying is like, Get off of this whole voting ain't shit shit. And do not post bullshit like this 
of oh, niggas yeah. with Fuji belts around their knees and they paint. Look at this nigga right here. This nigga got under, well, he has on a leotard under his skinny jeans that he has around his knees. And I'm supposed to listen to this politically? Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, dog. Yes. Like, get the fuck yes, you out are. of Look, here. Look, Pedro, you're wrong. Let me tell you bro. something, Pedro. Bro, you are so I'm, wrong. When I they say are right. This pisses me off. I'm like, yo. Get yeah, the hey, fuck but listen. No, 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 no. You're just not. Listen, uh, uh, beta uh, soup. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> God damn. Let me tell you something, Delta OG. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you something, OG. First sure. of all, you don't understand where we're coming from. I like to wear, you know, these pants and my pants sagging down. So in case somebody <laughs> want to get a piece of this ass, they got easy access. That's what the, the sagging is. Secondly, okay, politically, I really don't know what the fuck I'm saying. But I'm going to say it. So how about this, motherfucker? floop de doo slap a da ba doop a doop a doop Ha! Deal with that, nigga. Right. And just, just to clarify, the dudes in that picture, I, it's a random-ass picture. That's my whole point. They just took some niggas throwing gang signs, looking hood, as if they're taking some stance, some political stance against society. So, no, El New, I don't think these dudes went to my high school. I'm not sure. It looks like a very Detroit picture. But I can't assure you that this is from Detroit or anywhere else. The dude who posted it, as some sort of political statement, did go to my high school with me my year. And that's why I kind of had to jump on this, like, yo. Well, like, you, you know what? You're wrong, Pedro. And, and, and this is where I'm like, <laughs> niggas be like, see what I mean? It's like, they want to throw out these little memes and think they mean something, dog. And like, memes I... don't mean. Like, it's not a real thing, dog. Like, you got niggas in ski masks and leotards voicing, voicing your political opinion right now. That shit looks right. fucking ridiculous, dog. Yeah, but you know and, what? And know, I mean, and, people I'm know like, let me saying. hold up, hold up, man. Let me play devil's advocate and see his point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna tell you to your face, Pedro, right now. Floopy floop, flap a dapple, <laughs> flap a nimi noob okay. Now, nigga, what about now, that? Skibbity pat. Now, that, now, answer me back with that. Where's your logic with that? Nigga, fuck with me. Hey, man, to be tied on my Capitown. You know what I'm saying? I, that, I, that, I, that's what I've got. Okay, now you're making sense. I, I fuck, fuck them. Hey, man, I, I speak whatever his name is, Polo. I speak I'm, flu I'm yeah. fluent in Booty Tang. So <laughs> Sapper, 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 Looper, Dude. We're going to Grammy Day the bad guys. Here. You know what I'm saying? I this get. Polo dude is, is he's, he's not the brightest bulb, and he says shit. Now, I've posted some aggressive shit, but even when I post memes, most of my memes I'll make. Like, or like, I just, you know, the, the one I just put up got a lot of hits with the little dog chasing the rhino. Or use, I them, just as, thought, use them as jokes, you know what I mean? Use them as whatever. As jokes, but yeah. Like, like, but please yeah. don't, don't act like this is a political, like, I'm going to show y'all one last time before we move on to something else. But look, Leotards and look, gangs, look, leotards look, look. and gangsters shouldn't be in the same sentence. you telling me these niggas are making a political statement right here, though. Like, like, yes. like this man, like this, this, look, 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 right here. You are this, wrong, Pedro. This man, these men are showing That's you That's just their old man like, shit. You're being old. Showing their crotch in public. Like, it's, it's, I'm not a crotch watcher. I'm not a crotch watcher. Hey, man, but my I am offended like, by you, Pedro. Bro, I don't I know what happened to you. Out. I can tell your crotch is out. You if know I, what, man? If I'm not That's a called a fashion watcher, statement, bro. <laughs> if I'm not a crotch watcher, but I can tell your crotch is out, it's on your crotch. Like, that's your crotch. It's not me. Hey, it's your crotch. hey, he went to school with you, bro. <laughs> this this is where people try me. to put we, it on you. Hey, got so, you guys right. went to school together, though. Yeah, we got so many better examples. I'm sorry, y'all, but I, I had to call that out because... No, no, no. I would have definitely called it out. I, I'll show people's picture. And now that I know who he is, I'm going on there and go full ham on him. You should have never shown me that shit. And I'm just going to write a bunch of shit like, hey, nigga. Flippity flap flap flippa doopa doopa doopa. And then he go like, who is he? Yeah, you don't know what the fuck I mean because you's a beta fish. <laughs> <laughs> you beta you dummy. Whatever the fuck yeah, you call dummy. Yourself. Fucking dummy. Goddamn. Him and his little dummy leotard. You can't even say leotard and gangster in the same sentence. You ain't like, no nigga, thug if you run you. up on me in leotards. <laughs> I would kill you, but I got bar practice right now, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm exactly. On the bar method, and that ain't drank, nigga. I'm putting. I'm. I'm on. Yeah, just stupid. 
I'm on plea. It's just stupid. I only know that because stupid. my sister took ballet. That's all. Yeah. I, I, I never, no, but I'm not a, I'm beta not a cuck. Nigga. Is that? No, beta cuck? I don't know what that that's is. The, I'm, y'all I'm, saw I'm, it. Keep it real. I, it's, I'm it's, old. It's, I guess I don't know. That's what he called Look at all the gray in my beard. I've been, I don't know. I've been called a coon in the past few days and a beta cuck. We, we, yeah. We got, you know what? We got People go hard. We got coons. To, we got yeah, we both got called coons. I've been called all kind of shit. I don't yeah. care. You, you know what? Everybody that don't like what the fuck was said. And you know, it's called Savage as Fuck. That's the name of the Listen. show. Listen. It's called Savage as Fuck. And honestly, this is just dawning on me. If you can't call me a curse, a, a known curse word, motherfucker, asshole, dipshit, dick fart, you know what I mean? Uh, pussy whip, some shit like that. Uh, your shit ain't real. When you gotta make up shit like beta cut. Right. I get it. But you were I called mean, you, a lot of names by two times two, and he hated you and Miss Adverb, then he said something to me, and then <laughs> we, we, yeah, he hates you. You talking about the square root um, of negative zero? That nigga yeah. is nothing, trust me. And he was like, I'll never be back. And then watch, he'll get some other post, and it, he'll get some other name, and it'll be uh, four minus. Oh, seven. yeah, we had somebody come on here that hated us, and then they they logged on on a different IG just to call us names. So welcome to the show. And Miss Avra, Miss Averb officially kicked him off the show. That that had nothing to do with us. Yeah, Miss Averb was like, finish him, and she did Mortal Kombat type <laughs> shit. But she was like, this nigga, come here. Cry. He cries yeah. when he comes. He covers his eyes when he watches porn. <laughs> like these are things that came out of uh, out of your text it's keyboard. But see, <laughs> out but of your Eve thumb. said it right. That's you know what's wrong with said. you? Go ahead. Eve, the problem with you, Eve is saying, is you got to buy more land in Africa. And, <laughs> uh, like all of it. Nigga, the yeah. Serengeti, like from, nigga, from Mor- which one? Morocco, Sudan, South Africa, Zimbabwe. Yeah, if you would have just, if you, you, if you just did that, Pedro, and you know, and, <laughs> and if you'd have just, if you'd have just saw the point of the photo, you'd have got it, and that's it, because Amazing. you don't get it. You know why you don't get it? I'm going to let you know. Flam, Amazing. flam, farm. Phil, Flyer, Phil. Amen. Phil, Phil, it's just but, when I see shit like that, I hear I hear Charlie Brown's fucking teacher wah, wah, when I see that. Wah, 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 yeah, I don't wah, fuck them. And the ones that try to inbox me shit, I inbox my, my inbox game is ferocious because <laughs> that's when I can go full blast. Like like I'll just dot dot dot. What you say, nigga? <laughs> Oh, I've they, sent audio responses. How about I come over there and bust you up with a shovel? Like, like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you hey. see a nigga outside holding yeah. a shovel. Yeah. Remember it me ain't snowing, nigga. From the it end? ain't snowing. This shit is for you. Yep. Like, hey. Why is, honey, there's hey. a man outside with a shovel. By the way, have any, no. the, the, okay. audience, the audience has gone full in on the uh, Mortal Kombat references. Sexy Puerto Rican is like, Averb sub zeroed his ass. AJ Fit was like, Miss Averb got him with the flawless victory. Like, literally. I don't think he touched you at all, babe. It's he all hates Eve. <laughs> he hates Miss Adverb. Yeah, so, he, he, thank he, y'all he, for being part of the Savage Nation. And, you, know, you, know, say, you know what I'm saying? Um, but you Thunder know, Thunder. I'm going to do a segue. You know who Trump hates more than anybody right now? <laughs> Tell me, Shane. Woodward, oh. when I say Woodward did work. Work. <laughs> God damn, that is incriminating. Like, it's not even a little bit. It's like, ah, ooh, ah, ee. The reference. Fuck, man. The reference. And, is he got, and he got audio of the motherfucker saying it. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, Bob Woodward, um, you know, the book Rage is out. Uh, we, we talked about the tapes last week, and and you know, no, Trump, yeah, because it was only a few things came out, yeah, but yeah. now only, more only, more only three out. tapes. Yeah. So now, now more and more. So I spent the last hour before the show right up on, and I was like, Shane, uh, Bob Woodward's on. I hit my mom, like, Bob Woodward's on, but Bob Woodward's on live on CNN with uh, Anderson Cooper for a full hour, um, you know, talking that shit about Trumpy Dumpty. Uh, they released more tape, um, more audio that we hadn't heard, like, literally. Trumpy Dumpty went back and forth with Woodward about friends they lost. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, Trumpy Dumpty was like, yeah, one of my, you know, a good friend in real estate, very successful guy, you know, hit, hit him hard, you know, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, you know, Woodward is like talking about students and other people who are, who are suffering long term from it. So it was just more evidence that he fully understood what the thing really was, you know what I mean? What, what the thing, what was really, really, really going on and just chose to, to play it on down while today being at a, um, a town hall hosted by ABC, black woman asked him, why did you downplay it? He was like, I didn't downplay it. I actually upplayed it. I played it up. Like, so now he's going for He's insane, dude. It, he, got he, he got dementia. He got too old. That, he, got the, he got dementia or something. He's insane. That was the most I mean, poignant. That was the most poignant part of the CNN thing with Anderson Cooper is that he said, Bob Woodward, that is, Pulitzer Prize uh, journalist, you know, has comp blanche, uh, blanche carte, uh, carte blanche, sorry, uh, access to uh, the White House, basically over nine different presidencies. Um, he was like, he doesn't know if, if that Trump knows the difference between reality and the things he makes up in, in his head. Like, he, he can't, he, he himself couldn't make the determination of whether Trump knows real from not. That's your president right now. Yeah, but check this out. Not only that, it, if anything, I was thinking that uh, he should wear a t-shirt that said, no lives matter. Because that motherfucker didn't care about nobody. He wanted everybody to die but his people. And the way he sounded in the recordings, where he, you know, his casual conversation, he, he just, he's so detached from anything that's grounded in reality. I don't understand why motherfuckers are still riding with him. But they are, because when he walks out, they scream. He's got a, that cult of personality shit's going on. But I swear, man, he's an evil motherfucker. But he was evil before. Everybody in New York knew he was like, I can't believe this motherfucker's president. But the people in South Dakota and in Virginia, we love him. He, he's just like us. Bitch, you are eating muskrat soup. He is eating caviar. Y'all are nothing alike. What the fuck are y'all talking about and now you realize he don't give a fuck about you and he still got a good chance of winning the fucking presidency and because you know why democrats know how to fuck shit up and they're also cheating their asses off you know what i mean like they are they are the u.s postal service like like we talked about yesterday um the the secretary of state in colorado is uh yep. suing the, the United States Postal Service right now for disinformation, you know, al alongside the, the, the physical roadblocks and obstacles they've set up by removing, uh, um, you know, ma mail sorting machines and, and, and actual drop off boxes. So um, both for regular mail and for voting. So, you know, the, the, you know, it, there's a there's a real thing going on. Like it's a it's a it's a real fight. Right. Like there's <laughs> no but between their cheating and the voter intimidation and all of this stuff, that's why I said if he wins, which he could win, uh, the electoral vote, he's not going to win the popular vote. He's going to get smashed on the popular vote. I'm saying right now, right now, four more years of this shit, he's going to feel like, hey, the people, the people said I'm the best, so I'm the best. Hey, let's put niggas in cages. And I bet you, that, and, and there'll be a portion of Americans go, well, I mean, yeah, let's put the niggas in cages. And then they're going to come to Pedro's house and they're not going to realize Pedro <laughs> got a gun. <laughs> I, I, I've seen, literally, I've seen uh, Home Alone too many times. Like, you will step on nails and matchbox cars, marbles, <laughs> uh, a bowling ball. <laughs> One of those down. big, yeah, yeah, that, like, you, get, you got a mallet on a fucking swing and you open the door and the mallet comes in. I will booby trap every fucking <laughs> aspect of this house I can. <laughs> like, trust me. Before uh, that, but, no, I'm thinking about it. There are things that they already put in place because they got so many judges because he basically railroaded a bunch of, you know, unqualified right-wing Trump-sucking judges and they could actually do crazy shit like that. They could put sanctions where, hey, cops, if you see a nigger, choke him. Choke him up. Choke him good. I mean, don't think it. Don't get it twisted. This shit could get real tribal more than it is. And I'm telling you right now, and, and, and heterosexual black males said, damn guerrilla warfare. I swear on, on my son's eyes, I could see that shit coming. I think we're going to. 
I think we're going to be in one of those situations. And I know what you're saying, that uh, Kane underscore uh, Garlene saying Trump is not going to win. Even if he doesn't win, his followers are still going to be like, fake, fake news. He, he, he was cheated because he's putting that out there. That he... yep. Oh, they're going to do that shit. They're going to say that. They're going to act like he, like, what they're going to do is he's put so much information, misinformation out there, and so much fake news. The only way he can win is cheating. And even though he's the one that's cheating, he's always he's always saying shit he's doing. He's, he's saying you doing. Shit he does, yeah. He, he blames the people for the shit he's doing. They're going, they're going, I'm telling you right now, they're going to go buck wild. They're going to be like, we're just going to ride with Trump. We ain't leaving. We And they ain't going to realize it's going to be, they're going to be a lot of unconscious fucking white dudes. There's gonna be a lot of them because there's gonna be some niggas that's like, yeah, man, yeah, hey, that shit, that shit work for politics. Mm -hmm. This is me and fucking Walmart. Yeah, and it's gonna be he gonna that's why get flattened. That's why you need to boycott Walmart too. They're union busters and they're cracker barrels, just like cracker oh, barrels. Yeah, no, I don't, <laughs> man. Uh, Miss, Abbott, you know where I go? To, I I rarely go to Target no. at all, but I I go to the hood. No, I get it. Get shit. Uh, Miss Averb is like, uh, what'd she say? Whistling Dixie and Dueling Banjos. They, those, those are the two songs you don't want to hear at once, but that's what they play all the damn time. I think the most telling part about the uh, interview with Bob Woodward that Anderson Cooper did today was that um, was a revelation uh, from the book. It's something that Bob Woodward has really never done before. Was, is a true judgment. Uh, is that at the end of the book, he ultimately concludes that Trumpy Dumpty is the wrong man for this job. I, you know, I don't know what else you could ask for, uh, you know, but Bob Woodward, at, you know, he was like, I usually don't get emotional about these things. I usually don't get it. You know, I try and let the story tell itself. But, you know, I think I think what we're seeing in this book and in this telling and in this speaking out now is... Um, you know the 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 realization that of of how ridiculous this is uh, another thing woodward brought up is that you know he kind of just yeah couldn't couldn't like he realized that he had to so this is the way without saying it verbatim he he put it as sometimes being silent is the most powerful thing you can do Right. So for those who ask, like, why didn't he say something earlier? Why didn't he do this? It's like he needed to sit back and just listen for a minute and get all of this shit in. And when I tell you that these tapes and the shit that Trumpy Dumpty is saying on tape, it's not it's like it's not it's not just that he's saying what he's saying. Right. Because we know that he's an insane Jackal mind. He's insane. Yeah, Hulk that motherfucker's him. eating bugs like off the roof. He's a sociopath, a true psychopath, right? But he also, it, it's the fact that he is knowingly saying these things on tape, right? And the reality is, even today, when he was asked about it and asked about the Woodward book, he wants us to believe that he read the book in one night. And he was like, yeah, I read it last night. Bitch, please. It was boring. You color. You color. <laughs> like, and outside of the lines, too. Like, your red goes way off the fucking outside the lines. Your clowns look like goddamn jokers every time. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you know, he, 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 uh, he wants us to believe that he read it one night and it was boring. Um, but in, 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 when he was questioned about it, he, he literally was like, um, when asked about the accuracy of it, I should say, he was like, yeah, they, uh, it was fine. You know, it, 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 it was fine. So he didn't dispute the accuracy of it. He can't. He's oh, on yeah, tape. No, he can't He's because they got tape. fucking audio. Yeah, you know? you're on tape, idiot. You fucking, just like when you say shit on TV and then they run back to shit. Yo, the most gangster shit. I, I saw somebody on one of these talk shows arguing. He said, really? You sure? <laughs> he gave him like three windows out. You sure you want to say that? Because you said that on our show before. You sure? You sure? Okay, hold on for a second. Hey, um, could you roll that tape? And they showed the tape of him flat out lying. I don't know if it was Dick Cheney. I think it was Dick Cheney. And to the point where he went, yeah, well, 
we won. That's <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> That's all that. That is. was it. That was his response. Yeah, fuck you caught me lying. Yeah, that was me on some major shit. But fuck you, we won. And that's what I think is going to happen. If Trump wins, Bob Woodward better watch out because I think he'll be killed. Don't get it twisted. It He's already next... going after what to do with the Captain Crunch mustache. The, uh, the, 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 the general. Oh, Mattis? Yeah, the one that wrote a book that wasn't flattering. They already put, they, they sent Bill Barr to go after that motherfucker. It's on, man. I'm telling you right now, I agree with you. I finally thought about I thought about it today. I was in the kitchen. I was like, yeah, you know what? Pedro's right. I do need to get a gun. I need to get a gun, and I need to make sure because if this shit get real thick, I am going to put aftermarket holes in somebody. I'm just telling train, you. Train yourself. You, I'm going to go to the gun range, but I just know that I'm going to have to learn how to let shit slide because I'm one of those people that you'll hear. Today, comedian Shang Forbes shot up the entire Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> there, the, the apparently, the target, crackers. apparently, the target <laughs> was Target. Who knew? <laughs> that Who knew the logo that, would be the eventual bullseye? Um, yeah, no, I mean it's it's bad, but I think you're right, man. I think right now, and guess what? What's my man, Polo, Da Polo, whatever the fuck his name Polo is, the dude Polo. from Polo on Polo, whatever the, yeah, yeah yo, yo, don't, y'all, don't follow that bitch. Follow, uh, at Black Pedro and follow me, but don't follow them. Um, because, but go ahead, but go um, ahead and look at the dumbass meme he posted. And that, and that's yeah. what, you know, like, you know, it, it, it's like that challenge. It's like, okay, I get it. We're upset with the system. We all get it. I think it was Lady Hazel May that said her two sons are so upset that they didn't want to vote. And I said, they should, we should validate those upset feelings, right? Like, I get, we are all upset. But none of these anti-vote motherfuckers ever offer a solution. Like, they never offer up any other strategy. They're just like, man, fuck right. that. I ain't, I ain't part of this system. Well, nigga, what part are you, what are you a part of? Like what? What are we doing then? You ain't no we then. Yeah. You ain't even about your people then. Like, what are you fighting for? What are you about to do? Oh no, no. I think you're a hundred percent right with that. But guess what? You're not gonna be able to explain it to somebody that came back and said you're, uh, uh, you know, what did you say? A beta cuck. You're not gonna, you know. And um, uh, take no, take underscore no. Shh. Um, that's actually what it says here. Ice is sterilizing people, right? And that I did see about that. It's it, there's uh, I, I some places. I want to read more about that because I. I, didn't, I, I want to read more about that. that. We should definitely talk about that for sure. We might even talk about it tomorrow because we're on tomorrow uh, again. Tomorrow we're six to seven. For the other people that keep asking on me, IG. I understand. On IG, I understand sometimes it is confusing, but I always post about it. I always make flyers that specifically say Monday and Friday is three to four. Tomorrow. For sure, because I know some people that do um, listen to us. Tomorrow is is actually the time. You know what I'm saying? It is six to seven, yeah. okay, until Thursday, and then Friday. So I'm making sure y'all clear on it. Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by us two motherfuckers right here. That's the two motherfuckers you're looking at right powered here. Powered by at comedian. It is powered by. at Black. Yes. Media. Also, want to give shout outs to um, you know Comics Uncensored. Uh, El El Dara, I want to give a shout out to them, and also shout out to Justin Hires. Um, uh, you know, thank him for letting me be on the show, and and Maya. I always mess up Maya's last name. I say DiGiorno. Uh, Is that right? No, uh, not DiGiorno. Is uh, DiGiorgio. DiGiorgio. I yeah. yeah, I think DiGiorno, DiGiorno pizza, which DiGiorno is so is fucked up. Not delivery. Is is DiGiorno? It's DiGiorno. Right. Right. Exactly. But, but, I can't Maya believe we both Giorgio, know that. Very funny, very funny. The Giorgio, yes, very funny uh, comic. Did Def Jam with, back in the day? We were uh, talking about Def Jam and all of the the fact that we still actually tell jokes now. Wow, people are saying Europeans go home. I like, see. We got a savage ass fucking audience yeah, I, that yeah. listens to us. And by the way, all the people. Once I do post this up, and it takes a while to post up when we go long like this. I'm going to make sure that you know I'm going to start sending out more um, forwards. 
please forward our shit to anybody if they miss it. If you miss it, you can forward it, okay, yeah, so we can it get is. it out there. And we are going to turn this into a TV show where we get guests on, and the guests is going to be regular motherfuckers. I don't want it just to be celebrities on the bitch. We want to get the, y'all on it. Our we want, we want it. AJ Fit 365. We want L Nuke. We want uh, Deborah Hyatt. Going We're going to fly you have, in. We're going to get Eve on here. We're going to have we gonna Eve is going to be on there. Shit, yep. Eve is going to be on there. And her city. I want to talk this shit live one day. So we gonna. Do I want to see y'all talk this shit live, and I sure y'all will. And the fact that they try to act like people aren't interested in this is some bullshit. Because we got, when we were on the the radio, the radio show version of this, we were in the and the podcast version was in the top forty five of yeah. political slash comedy podcasts. Yeah. So we need you to subscribe, and it's free. So don't give me no shit. We going and, and subscribe. Is- we, we some of y'all gonna lose your job fucking with us, but we gonna be real. <laughs> that's yeah. You know, don't use your government if you don't want us to fucking because we gonna be out. Yeah, here like yeah. Because then the shit will get yeah. That's I mean, that's I'm, I'm already I'm already fucked. So I just go. You know what? Yeah, it, it it is what it is. It is what it is. That's what I'm saying. So we did we did over the time. Um, I wanted to make sure that y'all know. Yeah, we damn. Yeah, something's changed in the past like two weeks. Yeah, where yeah we did almost two hours and yeah. nobody. You jumped in, you know the little countdown thing. But um, I wanted to make sure. You, yeah, <laughs> she said, "Right, I can't lose my job." Uh, Nikki, you're not gonna lose your job. Yeah. Uh, somebody enough. said, "Oh, free." That's all you had to say, player. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> <laughs> Heterosexual black male said, "Free." Shit. Yes, it's free. If you go on iTunes, Stitcher, Slack, or Google Play, iHeartRadio, or Spotify, yes, it's free. Podcast. Yeah. It's free. Uh, R Savage but, AF is free, but and, you make, and but it's going to be updated. The one, the one taxation is that you share it with your friends. All right, so don't, don't just hoard these drugs. That's how you OD, and then I'm <laughs> drooling on the couch, and then, and then your roommate can't sell the couch because it's got heroin drool on it. What you want to do is fucking share this shit with your friends. Pass it on the left hand side. So you get some Savage right. AF in you, and then you tell your friends, and you pass it around and be like, "Nigga, hit this shit." And then yeah, yeah, exactly. So you send it to your friends. We're gonna be down with you. Um, I'm supposed to finish up some more stuff, but I'm but we gonna wrap it up real quick. Yeah, but we did yeah. it. We did actually get through all of it. And the thing that's good about the fact that we can go a little bit longer, um, which is nice, we can get to topics and go off topics. And hopefully, um, Pedro's <laughs> ex classmate uh, <laughs> will yeah, because that was up. good. That was good. I hope he puts more memes to drive Pedro crazy. <laughs> and he was going in like, what I'm just the like, fuck does that mean? I mean, like, what does it mean? God? Like, you know, like, you know it, what it you means? Know, you don't know what it means? You know why you don't know what it means? Because you're a beta, uh, beta cup. croquette. <laughs> you're beta does cracker. anybody know what the fuck that means? Am beta I too cracker. old? I, I, beta cut. That's the new, we got some new shit to do. And all, and that's what I'm, gonna, I'm never going to use it. I'm a, the end of ACP is is black. And, what the end of ACP is blacking out Instagram, Instagram tomorrow. tomorrow. In name of, in just in the name of blacking shit out, I guess. I mean, you know, get, there's a, it's a lot of reasons to black shit out. I mean, I'm calling for a blackout of Facebook until after the election. Uh, but and at the same time, I'm talking about the NFL, which I don't give a fuck. Even though they actually check out these cunts. At the NFL, okay? The NFL actually used images of Kaepernick kneeling bro, to say that bro, they're down. Yes. Bro. Bro. And the, the uh, what's his name? Eric Reed was his the first teammate of his to kneel with him. Also being blackballed now out of the league. Currently. He's currently being currently. Kaepernick. He's, bur- he's being Kaepernick while Kaepernick is being used. To show that they'd never Kaepernicked anybody, that they've always been with it. Um, that's why I'm saying fuck the NFL, and I'm never watching a game again. Like fuck the whole NFL. Like, well, no, I, I you just, know what? I, you know what? Yeah. I, part of the reason was I watched this show called Ballers on HBO with uh, Dwayne Johnson yep. and David there Washington. Was an episode, uh, huh? Yeah, David, yeah. He's Denzel's uh, son. His son. Yeah, he's good in it. And if you ever watch the show, I don't know if you like stuff like this, but you guys, if you get a chance, it's called Ballers. 
And uh, because some people are like, what is that? I'm telling you, Dwayne Rock Johnson kills it. And he went against the he went against the NFL, like, you know, on their bullshit. And I was didn't know there was that much dirt going on because I'm not I didn't follow it as much how they treated the players of color, which is their workforce. And then when I saw the Kaepernick thing, I was like, wow, they really don't give a fuck. Yeah. These people are putting their bodies on the line yeah. to actually make you billionaires. Yeah. And you treat them like shit. And actually, Kaepernick re recently put out a statement about how, you know, the NFL is treating Eric Reed, you know, which is him essentially, you know, having to um, advocate for the, the next dude that's being treated like him while the NFL is trying to act like they've always supported this shit. And this is why I can't deal with this shit. Like, El Noob sees it. He was like, uh, what did he say? He said, Reed is being capped. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's, they are so fucking fake with this shit. Like, Roger Goodell is I, so Oh, yeah, that's what, that's it. They are. They, you're right. Shit, they right. are super fake. The NFL <clears throat> is super fake. And you know what? I think that they're jealous now of the way the NBA is doing things because the NBA Done it so well. is actually doing it smarter. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that they're both huge organizations and they do their thing, but don't get it twisted. The way the NBA is doing it, the way the players are getting more of a say, they're wearing the shirts they want to wear and say what they want to say. I, in fact, I saw some of the players for the Lakers and I think another team where they had the names of all the people that were shot – and wore them flat out. It was on TV. I was like, that's what the fuck. And didn't take them off and, like, hide. They were like, yo, this is what it is. I just think the NFL is, like, it is has that um, mentality from the, the Fox News woman, that cunt. I can't remember her name. Did she say shut up and dribble? Laura Ingram. Is it Laura Ingram? Oh, I can't yeah. stand that bitch. Um, and the shut up and dribble mentality, I think that the NFL owners have that mentality with the players. And, and and anybody on here, if you think I'm wrong, you can just say, I think it's bullshit because I love the NFL. But I think the NFL, um, yeah, the NFL, you're right. Take take no, you're right. That's a cool name. The NFL, NFL uh, NBA, more black, like, overall than the NFL. Um, you don't really watch sports, but I'm telling you right now, so if you do watch basketball, the NBA is doing it in a better way to keep the players safe. Um did you see how they're doing it? You saw how they're doing it. Yeah, yeah. By keeping them so, in a bubble. So honestly, smart. I think it's so, smart. So um, take take no. She's like, uh, with the is the NBA more black than the NFL? Basically, is her question. Um, I don't have statistics on that, but just understand that both leagues are predominantly black, right? Like that, and I, I think that's essentially the the thing to understand is like. I don't think you need to compare them versus each other, but just understand that they are both predominantly black <laughs> leagues, right? So right. if they don't align with, you know, pro-black issues, and understand that when we say pro-black, that never means anti-white, where pro-white always means anti-black and anti -color, Exactly. Right? But pro-black doesn't mean anti anybody else right that's what black lives matter is about so if you have predominantly black leagues no matter whether your league is more black than the other <laughs> league uh you need to understand that your league needs to stand up for the majority of its its employees you know what i mean like they they are your employees whether you no matter how you swap out the pieces right each each individual player might be expendable to the to the greater league but they're going to end up mo nine times out of ten swapping those pieces out with a Negro from America. And you're going to need to align your league with those ideologies that protect those individuals. Or we're right. going and to because say, fuck it. If you're not, listen, like, I'm going to go Joe Biden right here. If you're still watching NFL games, you ain't black. I'm going to fucking say that right <laughs> Did you now. just do that? Like, bro, if you are still watching the NFL every Sunday and, dun, 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 and getting your fucking and grilling and all that and tailgating, 
and watching and putting on your fucking hundred yeah. dollar jersey, two hundred dollar jersey that you no, really couldn't afford. No, way more afford. than that. Yeah, that you couldn't fucking afford, but you put your life into it because they don't give a fuck about you. But somehow it takes you back to your little league high school days. You ain't black, my nigga. Like that league doesn't give a fuck about you or any of the other black players that play in it. And I need you to get off of that shit right motherfucking now. You ain't black if you're watching the NFL right now. These but days. you know what? No, you, like, you know what? A lot of people just try to say it's just a game, and it's not that because a lot of times, it's not. A lot of times, those players have had shit happen to them where they're going to their car and they're a star player, and the cops have done harassed them. So once you stop playing, you still black all day. So I, that's why I just. I stopped as soon as I saw how much vitriol they had against fucking Kaepernick. I was like, "Fuck these people! Yeah. Fuck this game!" And I and the college football and college football too. I was just like, "Damn, they treat these college players like shit." Man, you know what I'm saying? And I, yeah, they treat yeah. them like shit. I mean, Absolutely. and these young cats is out there trying to obviously get to the NFL. They treat them like shit. So my main thing is, uh, I I just feel like what we got to do is. You know, the NBA, I got to think they were doing it right. Honestly, Pedro, I think the NBA is doing it right. I think the players do have a little bit more say. I've seen them being very vocal. I think LeBron, even though they try to drag him through the fucking mud, LeBron has been more vocal than a lot of cats that I've seen at his level before. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. he's saying that shit. And, and, he's, and he's building up studios and, and buying. This motherfucker yeah. it bought a high school. Uh, it was either high school or a middle no, school. He 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 start he started an educational ideology. He has a pantry in his school. Listen, niggas don't grow up with pantries, dog. And really, like, literally, middle class on up white kids grow up with a pantry. They have jams and preserves. Do you know what preserves? <laughs> do you know what preserves what are? Preserves? Savings. Yes. Savings, my nigga. When you preserve something, you're saving it. When you're broke, you can't save shit. You have to consume everything right now just to get to tomorrow because you're starving right now. You're not jamming shit. You're not, you're not putting fucking figs Look, into yeah, a goddamn that's jar why I, <laughs> for the winter. This month. is the thing. Yo, this is going to be great for our December feast. No, motherfucker, you better eat this shit now. Or we gonna <laughs> you die. better eat this shit now. It's going to be gone. Exactly. Oh God, but do you like, like, I like, Okay, this is a big argument. I, I did a sports show. I did a sports show for Fox. Can't believe I did. I was on a sports show um, and interview, and they had me on there arguing, and I ended up getting in an argument. And I think I cussed two times when I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> slipped out. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Bro, because they the way, were talking about LeBron and Jordan. And I was like, I like LeBron better. And they're like, blasphemy. How dare you? I'm like, no, I thought Jordan was a beyond great player. But I think aside from that, it stopped there, where I think LeBron's a great player, and he keeps doing stuff that I think that moves his people forward and shows a little bit more empathy and humanity. And they were like, yeah, but you got to think, Jordan got shoes. I'm like, is that your fucking argument? Is that what, is that what we're talking about? <laughs> oh, no, that's when I said the person was full of shit, and that's when – I don't know if I'm going to get invited back is what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> But they said his shoes. They brought up his shoes and how much his shoes employ people. And they were trying to use that angle. I said, that's not the fuck I'm saying, stupid. And so, and plus, I, I just didn't like the way Jordan rolled. I mean, that's true. I mean, but as a basketball player, no, absolute monster. Absolute monster. I'm not going to ever say he's not. But LeBron is a monster and has a conscience. Politically active, yeah, like, you know, like right. using, using If you look voice. at Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali was one of the best ever, I think. I think Floyd Mayweather has proven that, you know, <laughs> he's one of the best ever do it. Because the motherfucker looked like he's going to the club after a fight. He don't even look like he was in a fight. Whereas in, you know, Muhammad Ali looked like, Lee looked like he was in fights. Like, he looked beat up, you know what I'm saying? But Muhammad Ali took a stance. And lost five or I think four or five years of his prime. Yeah, yeah. When he was sure. like that nigga, and so that's why that, I think that's LeBron taking is. A stance. Yeah, that's taking a stance. But you don't sure. like Jordan. I remember you not liking. No, no, Jordan. no, no, no. Yeah, no. I, I, I do not. Uh, I'm not a, a Michael Jordan fan at all. Uh, neither 
uh, athletically or sports wise or politically. Um, but you know, yeah, yeah, he, he's, he's not one of my guys. Um, I don't know. You know, you know what? Um, a friend of mine, yeah. well, I know her real name. She put, <laughs> but, uh, I just put L Deg. <laughs> it's L Deg. She said LeBron uses his platform smart. I think he does. Lady I think he uses yeah. the. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I think he. I think he uses his platform to really make some some inroads on some shit that I don't think other players have done. And what it does is makes the other young players step up and think that's fly. Like, yo, I'm gonna do what LeBron do. And so I think he's 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 doing it in the right way. Where I don't think. See, I watched that documentary of Jordan, and it infuriated me how he treated Pippen. Mm -hmm. Um, and if somebody's from Chicago. I'm just saying. I I really Ever, think Ever that he, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't treat Pippen with the respect that I think Pippen deserved. Honestly, I mean, he didn't fight for Pippen the way he should have fought for him. Financially, he should have definitely stepped up. And if you watch this documentary, it's a good documentary. I'm not gonna say it's not. It's on the Chicago Bulls, and uh, but man, he was kind of a dick, dude. And people, and, and when I say these people on this and on this show, I was doing a, a sports show. They lost their fucking mind on me, man. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. Like I said, yeah. Jesus can suck a dick. I didn't <laughs> say that. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Yeah. They just lost it, and then they come back. They come back with, oh yeah, but <laughs> what about the shoes? And, and then, oh yeah, one of the people, he, the only black person on the panel. Said, um, say, I bet you got some Jordans. I said, No, I never bought Jordans, but I think they're, I think they're fly ass shoes. I'm, and they're saying, yeah, See, the you good. think the shoes are fly? I'm like, No, you're still not going to get me with that. Yeah, That's yeah, no. fucking stupid. Yeah, like, That's not the point. Like, I, I see Gucci shit that is fly. I'm not buying Gucci anymore. After they came out with the monkey lip turtleneck, I'm like, You know what? That's a wrap. And right, I said, exactly. I said, yeah. I said, I'm not buying Gucci anymore. Like I've ever bought Gucci. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> that's off the list now. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm, if I get my shit, I'm not ever going Gucci on the ass because you know yeah, they went, so they went foul. We got power, man. So we here's here's, here's one thing. We got wanna, power. This is this is one thing I just really want to point out is is the idea that imagine if we really really. And when I say don't watch the NFL, I know it's easy for me as a Lions fan. I know that because I'm not missing any. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. They no, yeah. they lost. They lost to the Bears this weekend. Like it's that's what's going to happen every week for the most part. Um, so I get it's hard for you who follow successful franchises to, you know, jump on this train. But as black people, just understand the chunk that we could take out of a major American industry if you just stop watching. And yes, TK575, I'm from Detroit. That's what we do. I grew up Barry Sanders, like seventh, eighth, ninth grade, that was Barry Sanders years from me. High school was Barry Sanders for me. So like, I, and I'm from I, my home, all my teams are my home teams. I don't like no other, I don't fuck your team. I lived in LA for 21 years. Fuck the Dodgers, the Angels, the Lakers, the Clippers, the Kings, the Mighty Ducks. All them kids that Damn. was in that movie. They fuck all them kids that was in that movie. I don't give a hey, fuck hey, about them Hey, 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 man. No, them Stop kids. It. Whoa, the Red what Wings about the Mighty Ducks? Red Wings. Come on, guys. man. You're fucking, you're out of line. Fuck, Hold fuck up, Pedro. You're, you, know you're like, you know what you're acting like? You're acting like, you know what you're acting like? You're acting like a beta cornucopia. That's what you're acting like. <laughs> You fucking and you don't understand if I wear my Kuba Gucci Libre, my Gucci it. belt near my knees, that's what the <laughs> fuck I do, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't that was the most bitch shit I've seen. I hope he listens. I will send him I, a copy he, of this. He, he, I mean, he, that was the most bitch shit I've no. seen. But you're mean me, bitch shit. We're we're beta cucks. He's not listening to us. We're not oh, leading right. way. <laughs> he has no plan and yet we're telling you somehow how to get there, but whatever. Um, yeah, whatever. But Who cares? Ima Fuck imagine, him. imagine the power we could have. If oh we, no, no, no! We, what, I just want a lot of sports. Alone, if every black person just stopped watching the NFL, listen, all your players, all them players that year, they still gonna get paid as long as they go out and play. Them owners owe them that money, so they are gonna have to sell them jets. They are gonna have to 
Well, if they can, if they don't have the money in the bank, they're gonna have to get rid of the the the, the phantoms and the, the the ghosts and and the Lambos and the jet and the horses that they own. They get that they the Arabian shit right. that they run and and, and the all the all the all the prostitutes they have on the side, yeah, exactly. bro. The yachts, the yachtists with the helicopters that land on the boat, nigga. If you could take your car to a helicopter and then put that on the boat and then jet ski off of that, fuck your whole life. All right, we don't need to watch. Right, your exactly. Yeah, they have swimming pools. So take and they have swimming pools in there. One yeah, time. one year. That's all I'm asking. But for you know what? No, no, no. Power. People watch see it. No, because it's too. Again, you can't. People won't do that. Just like you got people that. Because it becomes ritualistic and tribal, yeah. and they can't pull away from it. Because there's people I've seen that have. There was Denver Bronco fans. There was one time I saw the Raiders fans beating up Denver Bronco fans just because they had on the jersey of the Denver Bronco. It, it, it becomes happens. almost like, you know, too personal. Cult, so there's some cult, people that yeah. won't listen. But trust me when I say hey. we could put a huge dent in anything yeah. if we decided, and we're not even. Yeah the biggest percentage of people in this country. So don't get it and, twisted. You motherfuckers know what it is. It, we do got, we do got juice. We just and, and, have and, been beaten down so much. We don't know it. Yeah. And see, but three, one, three, what up though? You know, that's Detroit, that three, one, three. Um, he says, I don't buy any gear or buy tickets. And that, that, that is an initial step and a, an important step. But also understand that even like watching the games on TV, like they get, like I've done commercials, man. Like I've done commercials that have played during NFL games, and I got paid an exorbitant amount of money just for that viewership. So understand that each eyeball that is watching during those games, at this point, they're able to track that and monetize that. So I'm asking you to go one step further and don't even watch, don't even, don't even look up the scores on ESPN. You know what I'm saying? Like the the little scrolling the, the the fucking internet ad it's gonna be hard it's gonna up. be hard for people. i get it but, I, i'm not but, a big work, fan anyway so work work your hardest to to not give the nfl one dollar this year with your eyes your ears any any part of it I, I guarantee you will be all right look at all we've been through in 2020 dog you're not gonna die if you don't see the chiefs or the huge you you know what pedro like, you're, you're wrong gonna, like you are suck, wrong man. you are like, so wrong, wrong. You know why? You know why? You know why you're wrong? Because you're a a, a beta <laughs> capture. Right. If this don't if this if this don't say it, I'm gonna leave it here. And again, Miss Averb, she always sticks the landing. If you're watching NFL still, your mom has stanky wop. Okay, okay, that's what it wow. is, America, Black America. If you are still watching the NFL, your mother has stanky wop. Okay? She would not have been allowed on the set. God Nikki damn it, man. You are Megan so out of line. Or Cardi. You're out of line, man. Them. You are out of line. You know she why you're out of line? There's some hoes in this house. There's some hoes in this house. <laughs> she had Kendall Wop. She had Kendall Wop. Y'all, y'all hung in there with us. You know what? We know we got good fans. Thank y'all so much for hanging in there with us. We did. We did a beast mode ass we show. Beast mode show. Beast mode ass show. Yes, beast mode ass show. And I'm stunned that we ain't got the. I mean, they ain't said no shit yet. So um, no, I wanted darts. to make sure that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Man, dude, Polo, what the fuck? Ugh. No, that was a no. The reason I thought it was funny is because you could see it was like we were talking about some real deep pop political shit. Then you were like. Get to talk about this motherfucker. This motherfucker. And that like sometimes is good shit to me. I don't know why. Maybe I'm like you. I like <laughs> summertime. I was like, yeah, get that motherfucker. He got to get. He got to get the business. Um, and I am definitely going to go to his page and say something. <laughs> you should have. You should have. And, and, and yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna say some wild shit to him. Miss yeah. Avert got the dudes upset in the room. El Noob's like, take it back. Uh, who was it? AJ Fitz like, I don't want to think about my mom's wop at all. Oh no, Prime Minister said that. Sorry. Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, no, it, that's that's so so that that's gonna cut deep. So that that's why we need you to understand that. That's why is, we need you to do it. This so, is some real real th shit. So so you know that you don't want need to watch the NFL. Plus, there's so much other good shit on. By the way, boxing is very good to watch. I've been watching a lot of old school boxing, and uh, I'm telling you, man, that's a, something. One of my that's my 
thing that I can replace any kind of NFL. Heavyweights don't do I it love like boxing. that anymore. Heavyweights don't do it. Oh, like yeah. No, I watched the old school one. I watched, I watched the one where Ali fought Foreman. And it was fucking entertaining as shit. And Rumble it was a, a, oh yeah yeah man it's a movie it's like a movie but it's a documentary of is it the that whole thing. Manila? Huh? Is that the is no that Thriller the, in Manila is actually no that's two different people. The Thriller in Manila was Foreman. Yeah, and uh, the other one, the Rumble, right? The, the Jungle, other guy was, uh, was Frazier. Ah. Yeah, it's two different boxers. Yeah, yeah. but. But if you guys get a chance, make sure you check that out. It's a, a documentary on it. It's fucking fire, man. And um, to me, I was like, okay, not watching football. So I've been watching a lot of old school, like, boxing matches. I watched some, like, Floyd's early fights. All of them. That motherfucker was the, the truth, man, all the way through. So I, I, if, 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 unless you don't like Floyd Mayweather. If you don't like Floyd Mayweather, you're not going to like his fights. I just but keep if, one. You go. What? Uh, Lauren Lauren N. Baker said, former cheerle cheerleader for football and basketball. Mama, we support you. We support you. Yeah, we, we support we, you, but not the team. And we definitely support the NBA right now. We, and I think historically, they've been on the right side of the history. Um, but it is tough for us to stand by the NFL right now. They're trying to act like they stand by us. But meanwhile... Yeah, how dare Colin, you use Colin fucking Kaepernick Kaepernick's yeah. Colin Kaepernick never got back in the league, and 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 I'm not saying that she's you know arguing any of this. I'm just saying we support you as a as a former cheerleader, but um, the NFL as a league we do have a problem with. Like you know, it's it's, it's and, uh, overall as a black and as, and, as and by black the way, I know I know that none of those leagues treat the cheerleaders the way that they should be treated either. So, I, you know, at, at some point, Lauren N. Baker, honestly. Hit us up. I'd love to hear your story as a, a former cheerleader of those two leagues, and just and just hear what that side of the experience was. See what that what that side of it that, that, yeah. that side of it because you don't hear it as much. It's you a don't whole get to other hear it thing, man. It's a whole other thing. Eve Eve is going Eve Eve is going in. Um, Eve underscore. Make sure y'all also if you get a chance check out Eve underscore seventy nine sixteen. Okay, Eve's app. I'm sorry, I said Eve's underscore. Just Eve. I meant Eve's underscore Apple. Seventy nine sixteen. My bad. Um, also, uh, El New always bringing fire. Thank you so much for being on here. I'm gonna wrap it up for me. Yeah, man, we did a Let's long ass yeah, time. No, no. But, but no, but and what we're gonna do is people because sometimes on the thing we gotta split it. This show on the uh, on the uh, podcast will be split into two shows because we you know it'll, it'll be a, a two longer, separate yeah. shows. Yeah, we'll go a little bit longer. So we're gonna start doing that by shortening. Instead of you just listening to it, uh, the whole thing, it'll be shortened on there, and I'll make sure that we get it all up on the, the um, website. It'll be done soon, too, but I got to wait for the YouTube to be loaded in order to put the coding into the website. So okay. we're waiting on that, but we will get it done for y'all. We're going to have it done for y'all, and we got a lot of stuff coming up, and hopefully live shows again. I I actually miss doing live shows, man. I miss... Um, it's just that I've been doing Zoom back. shows. It's just not the same. Yo, I, I'm, I'm starting to see. We maybe we'll talk about this tomorrow. Uh, uh, I'm starting to see cats doing like protest shows. Uh, you know, like the like the Trumpy Dumpty is the, holding his rallies. Uh, you know, in defiance of laws because they're protests. And so I'm starting to see that cats. Are, so we might we got to figure out a way. We might have to get Savage AF and and find a way to just fucking throw a live show in L.A. Run up on your ass! I don't know, dog. We gonna we gonna say. Hey, but you know what? I there's a couple of shows that people wanted to book me for, but they actually they got um, blocked. Like they were like set, and then it got blocked. So the Vegas, um, trying to get some stuff. Me and Pedro to go down there and do some shows, and a couple other ones. You know, and, and and Vegas got the loot, so I fuck with them. So hopefully that'll work out. And then and then um, I'm gonna make sure. It's, Damn, that is so cool. Now that we can do this, I didn't notice that. I looked at the time. I was like, "Yo, that's dope." Um, make sure that you guys tell your friends, friends, friends. When we're on here, don't fuck around. 
Yes, Gertrude. Gertrude will not <laughs> be, <laughs> hopefully. A random Gertrude shout-out. <laughs> we don't need her yet. We don't need her yet. I'm yeah, trying, we don't need her yet. I'm trying to stay in a happy if, place. If, happy if, face. Happy place. If this shit goes <laughs> like I think it's going to go with these crazy-ass Trump supporters and yelling out pedophile and all that other shit, I'm telling you, it's going to be a civil war. <laughs> people are saying, don't wish that. I don't wish it. I'm just saying, we're not the ones shooting at people in the back of fucking trunks of their car That's with marbles mean. out of um, paint, paint guns. guns. Yes, so not what we do. don't try to put that. There's no false equivalency to act like we the ones doing that shit. We're not the ones that's like at Trump rallies punching random people as they're walking up the fucking steps to leave because they didn't like Peacefully. what Trump was saying. Peacefully. Peacefully walking out, wasn't hitting nobody. So I just put a video up about all the violence that Trump is initiating and pushing and saying, you know, cops, when you're putting their head into the car, don't put their head down. Yeah, Let them hit their head. So you know, don't be nice. Don't be so All nice. that other shit. That ain't, you ain't seen Joe Biden say no shit like that. And you can say whatever you want about Joe Biden. At least he has some empathy and at least it'll be some semblance of fucking normalcy if he yeah. gets in compared to Trump. I'm not going to say it's going to be perfect. Him and Kamala won't be perfect, but it'll be better than this orange cunt stick that we got. Easier to argue with than fucking screaming. Yeah, yeah, we can at least debate with him. And plus he got a stutter, so we can just confuse him sometimes. Um, <laughs> Shiny. That's fucked up. You know why? You know why I can confuse him? Because he's a he's a he's a uh, what is he? He's a beta kalala la whatever the fuck. He's a beta coconut. That's what it is. He's a beta, a beta coconut. coconut. And you, you know, you crack coconuts. You know, what comes out coconut water. Beta. That's how beta it works. Juice. Beta um, juice. <laughs> so we're gonna be on tomorrow, tomorrow night, uh, six p.m. to seven p.m. We might go do a long one tomorrow, or no, no, not tomorrow, but uh, Thursday. Either Thursday way. because. Yeah, because tomorrow we spoke, we might be linking up. We oh, might yeah. be. Yep, yep, that's right. Yeah, so, right. Yeah. So tomorrow we're going to do six to seven, and then uh, the, the next Thursday, night we'll do we a long one. Go, we might give you some after dark. After, yeah, yeah, Savage AF after dark. So we'll do that. Eve's underscore, I'm going to make sure I touch base with you. Um, Tangerine Hitler. Tangerine God damn, Hitler. that's AJ hilarious. AJ <laughs> Fit always going Citrus in with Hitler, the, going in the paint. Hitler. We know it. Yeah. <laughs> that is hilarious. So I'll make, I'll make sure I follow up with that. I'll post this one up. We're going to follow up. So see you tomorrow. Make sure you tell your friends about this tomorrow night. All right? That's what it is. Everybody, I need y'all to do that. Everybody, all right? So we everybody, out. Everybody. Right. Everybody. Yep. Later. Late. Late.